One of the coolest AI features that our users are getting a ton of value from at Apollo is our email writer. And look, before you click out of this, I know, I know I'm looking right at you. Don't click out of this. I know that using AI to write emails has been a hot topic lately in the sales world and for good reason, right? Uh, AI can be used to write a ton of generic slop that goes right into your spam folders. But if you use it correctly, it can also be used to write very highly personalized and even helpful emails. And I'm gonna show you here how Apollo can be used to help you craft emails that more lean towards that latter situation, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna set the stage. Let's pretend that I'm a seller from PartnerStack uh, and I'm reaching out to Apollo's head of partnerships, Jennifer Rima, to try and book a meeting, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click write with email and then full AI email. Once I do this, Apollo is going to automatically start uh, taking what it knows about your company and your product and applying it to the contact that you're reaching out to. So again, I'm PartnerStack reaching out to a head of partnerships. And the result is, I give it a C. You know, it gets, uh, it gets some stuff right, um, the basics, but it's really missing a lot of those key factors that I think push an email into like more of a B or an A level, okay? So I'm going to start going to, try going in, into that direction. And I'm going to take a look at that right-hand panel here, okay? So this is where the magic really happens. First, you're going to try to get uh, some more signals added into your email. So we have this section here, choose the email type, outreach, then personalize with data, okay? And so for this portion here, I wanna make it much more personalized to the company that I'm reaching out to so we can add in company buying signals, uh, recent company news, or even things like relevant job postings. You can also go ahead and change the tone of your email to actually match your brand, whether that's more direct, formal, casual, or something more specific. I'm gonna go casual, and then you can actually provide additional guidelines from there. And it can be really anything you want it to be. So for me, for example, I usually do something like, here I have a preset, um, some preset guidelines, don't use M dashes, start the emails with a pain point and then explain how our solution solves them. Keep things short and succinct. Um, but then you can always go ahead and change it after you preview the output. And so now I'm going to go ahead, I just submitted it and uh, we're gonna let Apollo AI do some thinking. It's going to re um, refer to our content center. It's going to try to understand again, the product that you're selling. Uh, it's going to look at all those signals that we tried to input into the email. And let's see here. We got a little bit of an output here. Pro partner, pro slow down, fast growing teams. Managing partner stack helps. That's pretty good. Um, I would go ahead and say that I like this, but I would actually love it if we had a PS line at the very end. And so I'm going to say, add a PS line at the end. And we're gonna hit regenerate. Okay, and we just added a little PS line here at the bottom. We've helped 300 plus SaaS companies scale partner programs just like yours. Love that, added some customer proof to kind of tie things off. And now I think that solidly, you know, we've turned that C minus email that we initially started with into, I would consider this a B in less than 90 seconds. So not too shabby. If we wanted to turn this into an A, there's lots more that you can do here. You could use dynamic variables, you can use AI custom fields, but that's a video for another time. I wanted to just show you how I could quickly turn a mediocre email into a passable email using Apollo's AI. Hope you enjoyed it. Follow along if you want more Apollo AI tips down the road.